Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to your Eucharistic celebration, streaming live on the sanctuary of St. Paul the Apostle. The priests and brothers of the Society of St. Paul offer this Mass, especially for the intentions of Pope Francis and our Superior General, Father Domenico Soliman, SSP. We also remember those working overseas, the sick, the homebound, and all the intentions offered through some Buhay TV Mass and those enrolled in St. Paul Mass Association. We also include in our prayer the special intentions of Carl Martin and Jean Pauline Dumawal, Eduardo Hodloman, Jumel Julian and family, De Leon family, Alcantara and Arsenio family, Kulita Alcantara, Jose Martin Alvarado, Andelay Nacosta, Francis Den Esteban, Cynthia Flores, Joseph Pesino, Elenita Estardo, Earl Sebastian and family, Dennis Javier, Thanksgiving of Dino Dumawal and family, Muffet Flores and family, Rolando Leesa and family, Celia Go and family, Alcantara family, Acosta family, for the birthday Thanksgiving of John Clarence Baluyot, Cynthia de Guzman, for the good health of Celia Goen family, Gio Lia Malcantara, Daniel Adrian Acosta, Jace de los Santos, Ian Francis, and Isel Baluyot. For the healing and recovery of Jacinto de Peralta, Constante M. Go, Yu Sing Tan Liu, Sophia Dave, Erlinda Castillo, Helen Lim, Veronica Iniguez Lee, Carmen Rivera de Vera, Aldonia Tagakay, Jim Boy Rom, Aurea Rom, Lutgarda and Janice Escandor, Rosalindo de Jesus, Nino Sabalye, Catherine Fernandez, Rene Peñalosa, Anne Kathleen and Isabelita Acosta, Cynthia Flores, John Paul Frani, Mark and Carlene Gamir, Josephine Montero, Mario Silos, Vitilda and AJ Gamir, Eva Recio, Luisa Apostol. For the souls of Proceso Sr. and Virginia Loman, Guarino and Estefania Dumawal, Ramon, Rene, Mario, and Jaime Dumawal, June Tadena, Filomeno, Victoria, Leonor, Floro, and Amado, Seriaco, Pasita, Salvador, and Armand Hoxon, Go Fing Tuan, Flora Mateo Go, Consuelo and Columbus Go, Amante To, Bella To, Luis and Evelyn Nang, Marcela Go, Crescenciana Gallardo, Luisa Lamoste, Francia Benco, Armando Mateo Santos, Edgar Lim, James C. Ali, Elvin Chodoro, Jose F. Abano Jr., Mabel G. Abano, Victoria Sebastian, Patricia Chua, Pablito Go, Valentina Nicolas, Mark Anthony Magsalin, J. Andre Mabatid, Felipe Gam, Dolores and Dominador Mabatid, John Gonzalez, Eustachia Lusanta and Sebastiana Romano, Andres and Lioglio de los Santos, Warren Co., Joseph Chu, Roberto and Cosette Gam, Onopre and Norman Montalvo, Arsenio and Rene Anishago, Jun Kianso, Salustiano and Pasencia Hong, Simplicio and Concepcio Concepcion Go, Delphine Federico Jr., Norma Dison, Emily Orr, Jovita and Jericho Olindan, Carmelita Guzman, Jose Angelo Villaluz, Ambrosio Nena Billy Enonoy Diaz, Leonila Passion and Corazon Will, Anita Vergonia Boseta, and all the souls in Purgatory.
entrance antipon. As for you, my son, be strong through the grace that is ours in union with Christ Jesus. Take your part in suffering as a loyal soldier of Christ Jesus. Good morning, everyone. Today we celebrate the memorial of Blessed Timothy Jacardo, the first Pauline priest. We begin our Eucharistic celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to and you, you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, you have guided blessed Timothy Jacardo, priest in life and in apostolate, with the light of your word and the power of the Eucharist. Grant through his intercession that in the church and in the world, the instruments of social communication may be rightly employed to lead people to goodness and that they may contribute to the spreading of the gospel message in every place. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Follow the pattern of the sound doctrine, which you have heard from me, concerning faith and love in Christ Jesus. Keep this precious deposit with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives within us. You, my son, be strong with the grace you have in Christ Jesus. And trust everything you have learned from me in the presence of many witnesses to reliable people who will be able to instruct others also. Labor like a good soldier of Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To you, my brothers, I will announce peace. To my brothers, I will announce peace. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful sound to the rock of our salvation. To my brothers, I will announce peace. Let us come before him giving thanks. Let us acclaim him with, this, with music and song. For the Lord is a great God the great King above all gods. To my brothers, I will announce peace. He is our God and we, his people, the flock he leads and pastures. To my brothers, I will announce peace. If today you hear his voice, do not be stubborn as at Mereba, in the desert on the day at Massa. To my brothers, I will announce peace. For forty years they wearied me, and I said, They are a people of inconstant heart. They have not known my ways. To my brothers I will announce peace. Alleluia, alleluia. I have called you friends, says the Lord, because all that I have heard from the Father I have made known to you. Alleluia, alleluia.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. You will remain in my love if you keep my commandments, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you all this that my own joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. There is no greater love than this, that one gives one's life for one's friends, and you are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants because a servant does not know what his master's business is. Instead, I call you friends, since I have made known to you everything I have learned from my father. You did not choose me. It was I who chose you and sent you to go and bear much fruit, fruit that will last. And everything you ask the father in my name, he will give you. My commandment to you is this, love one another. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga po sa atin dito sa Sanctuary of St. Paul. Mga kasama namin nagbimisa dito sa Makati. Magandang tanghali po naman, magandang hapon o magandang gabi sa mga kasama natin na sumusubaybay sa Buhay TV Mass online around the world. Today we celebrate the memorial of the first Pauline priest, our dear Blessed Timothy Jacardo. Blessed Timothy did not neglect the gift received during his ordination, but multiplied it for the glory of God and the salvation of men. He always had gratitude to God for the grace he did not feel worthy of. He also noted Mary's role in his priestly vocation on the occasion of his 25th anniversary of his priesthood. He wrote in his diary, It is very sweet for me to explicitly remember and thank Our Lady because every priesthood comes out of her heart and mine came out with an abundance of affection, of care, of providence, of grace, of life. These words reflect well the Marian characteristic of the spirituality of Blessed Timothy. God, in his providential plans, wanted Blessed Timothy as the closest and most faithful co-worker of Father James Alberione and as a person who shares with the founder his father's concern and responsibility for the birth of the Pauline family. God has inscribed in Timothy's vocation the mission of the educator and formator of many generations of Paulines. God also wanted him as a forerunner of the path of sanctification through the apostolate of the means of social communication. Blessed Timothy completed his priestly service and the process of his crucifixion by offering his life for the life of the congregation of the disciples of the Divine Master. As for our gospel today, we were told to love one another. So what is the goal of this commandment then? Eternal life in heaven. As John shares with us his vision of new heaven and a new earth, a promised future set for us where tears will be wiped off, no more death and mourning, and the older passed away. And God himself will always be with them as their God. Pero paano ko magagawang mahalin ng iba? E ang mga taong nasa paligid ko din ang mismong pasangkrus ko minsan, ang aking pamilya, ang community ko mismo, minsan pati ang aking sarili. Pero paano kung sasabihin ko po sa inyo na ang mga taong ito ang maaaring magpabanal sa inyo at maaari kayong gawing santo? 
ang maging ticket ninyo papunta sa langit. We can all achieve that goal, the eternal life in heaven, by and through the people around us. How? By loving them. Parang mahihirapan tayo dyan, Father. It's easier said than done. But because God is love, we must also love. We must allow His love in us to consume us and to achieve its purpose. There are times that we feel we are not capable of loving anymore because of too much hurt that we have experienced in life. This hurt tries to cement our hearts and creates a shield that we, that we use to protect ourselves from further hurts. But these things that we use to safeguard ourselves, we feel that protects us, actually deprives us of the love and the trust that we deserve. All of us here at one time or another have that one person or persons that we hated so much that their presence ruins our day. Tingin pa lamang sa itsura nila, tumataas na ang high blood nyo. Kumukulo na ang iyong dugo. They have overpowered us and they even dominated our prayers. Sila na lang ang pinagdarasal natin sa sobrang galit. Ang hirap ano, na minsan, pag tayo nasa bahay, hindi natin sila pinapansin. Pag nasa office, dead malang. Ganun din kapag nasa community. But to love is to be open to rejection and expose our vulnerabilities. That is to be human again and feel, not only with our hearts, but our whole being. To die to ourselves and that, that pain inside and know that we are loved and we are loving. Sa huling hapunan po, kagaya ni Jesus, binunyag niya ang kanyang lubos na pagmamahal, pag-ibig sa kanyang maalagad. Pero naroon si Judas, siyang tunay niyang alagad at kaibigan. Ang inggit ni Judas at kasakiman ang mas pipiliin niya kaya itatatwa niya si Jesus. Pero gaya ng apoy at liwanag sa ating Pasko ng pagkabuhay, tutupukin ito ang dilim at sa muling pagliwanag, pag-ibig ang magiging apoy at baga gaya ng pag-ibig ni Jesus. <coughs> Binilinan na tayo ni Jesus ng isang bagong utos, mahalin mo ang iyong kapwa gaya ng pagmamahal sa iyo. Ang sabi pa niya, dito nila malalaman kung kayo ay ang aking mga alagad sa pagmamahalan sa isa't isa at pagmamahalan ko sa inyo. Masasabing bago itong utos dahil may reference size sa ating Ten Commandments to love your neighbor, loving your neighbor as yourself. Ngayon ay mahalin mo ang iyong kapwa gaya ng pagmamahal ko sa inyo. Si Kristo ang dinagdag na elemento sa pagmamahal, ang magmahal gaya niya. Walang kondisyon, walang hanggan. Ang bilin niya hindi lang sa kanyang mga alagad, kundi sa ating lahat. Ang bilin ni Kristo sa atin ay magmahalan gaya ng pagmamahal niya sa atin. Our blessed Timothy Jacardo is a testament to this. Ang pagsisilbi niya sa ating kongregasyon, dedikasyon at mismong pag-aalay ng sarili para sa ating Pauline family. Nakapunta rin po ako sa kanyang lugar sa Narsole sa Italy at siya nga po ay binigyan ng isang state recognition doon bilang isang dakilang anak ng estado ng kanyang lugar. Naroon po ang marker ng kanyang pinagbinyagan. Dahil po sa kanyang kadakilaan at kabanalan, isang museyo at maliit na eskwelahan ang dedicated sa kanya. At taon-taon po nagdiriwang ang kanyang bayan para sa kanyang karangalan. His life was much more than the selfless sacrifice that he gave to the congregation. But he ushered us, Pauline, into the priesthood according to the thought of the blessed founder, Blessed James Alberione. His devotion to Mary, resourcefulness and zeal for evangelization helped bring the gospel to more people during his time and even up to now. Thanking God for the works he has done in the person of Blessed Timothy Jacardo and through his apostolic commitment, we ask through his intercession in the church and in the world the means of social communication be properly used 
to lead to good and contribute validly in every place to the spread of the gospel message. Amen. We rise for the prayer of the faithful. Let us pray to the Father, source of all holiness, so that through the example of blessed Timothy Jacardo, he may grant us to live our Pauline mission in conformity with our baptism. In every petition, let us say, Make us holy, Lord, because you are holy. Make us holy, Lord, because you are holy. Holy Father, you desire us to embrace the title of your beloved children and truly embody it. May your sacred church echo your presence across the globe. We pray. Make us holy, Lord, because you are holy. Holy Father, you wish for us to lead lives of worthiness and to bring joy to your heart in all our actions. Enable us to yield abundant fruits of good deeds through the prudent use of the so media social communication, we pray. Make us the holy Lord because you are holy. Holy Father, through Christ, you have reconciled us to yourself. Keep a watchful eye on those who place their faith in your name that they may be united with you, we pray. Make us holy, Lord, because you are holy. Holy Father, you beckon us to a heavenly banquet through the bread of life. Grant us the worthiness to flourish in perfect love, we pray. Make us holy, Lord, because you are holy. Holy Father, pardon the transgressions of every soul, and may the departed find illumination in the radiance of your countenance, we pray. Make us holy, Lord, because you are holy. Grant, Almighty Father, through the intercession of blessed Timothy Jacardo, that in the church and in the world, the instruments of social communication may be rightly employed to lead people to the goodness that they may contribute to the spreading of the gospel in every place. Grant this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, sanctify with your blessing the gifts we offer in memory of the blessed Timothy Jacardo and transform them for us into the sacrament of salvation so that approaching your altar, we may be freed from every sin and enabled to participate in the banquet of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just to give you thanks and to sing to you a hymn of blessing and praise. In blessed Timothy Jacardo, who consecrated his life to Christ her son, for the kingdom of heaven, we celebrate, O oh Father, the wonderful initiative of your love as you lead the human race back to the sanctify of its origin and give it a foretaste of the gifts 
you have prepared in the renewed world. For the sign of your goodness, united with the angels and the saints, with one voice, we sing the hymn of your praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into, the, into his passion, he took the bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church has spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity <clears throat> together with Francis, our Pope, who's our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember us, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Blessed Timothy Jacardo, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy they should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. God and God of Christ, bring us to the last thing. Prayer During Communion For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me, I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart. Detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Communion Antiphon The Lord sent His disciples to proclaim in every place, The kingdom of God has come near you. Let us pray. May your holy sacrament that we have received sanctify and renew us, O Lord, and may the intercession of Blessed Timothy Jacardo help us to progress every day in our dedication to your service through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you for celebrating the Eucharist with us. God bless you all. We would like also to thank our online community and all the overseas Filipino workers who have been supporting the ministry 
through their continued prayers and love offerings. Your generosity has enabled us to carry, the, carry out our mission of spreading the gospel of Christ. We now invite you to pray our devotional prayers. Invocations to Jesus Master Jesus Master, sanctify my mind and increase my faith. Jesus, teaching in the church, draw everyone to your school. Jesus Master, deliver me from error, from vain thoughts, and from eternal darkness. Jesus, way between the Father and us, I offer you all and await all from you. Jesus, way of sanctity, make me your faithful imitator. Jesus, way, render me perfect as the Father who is in heaven. Jesus, life, live in me so that I may live in you. Jesus, life, do not permit me to separate myself from you. Jesus, life, grant that I may live eternally in the joy of your love. Jesus, truth, may I be light for the world. Jesus, way, may I be example and model for souls. Jesus, life, may my presence bring grace and consolation everywhere. Amen. Prayer to the Guardian Angel My Guardian Angel, you contemplate the Lord at all times, and you want me as your fellow citizen in heaven. I beseech you to obtain for me pardon from the Lord, because I have so often been deaf to your advice, have sinned in your presence, and recall so seldom that you are always near me. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Saint Joseph, we venerate you as the model of laborers, the friend of the poor, the consoler of the afflicted, and those forced to leave their own land, the saint of divine providence. On earth, you represented the universal goodness and concern of the Heavenly Father. You were the carpenter of Nazareth and work teacher to the Son of God, who became a humble laborer for us. Assist with your prayers all who labor in intellectual, moral, and material work. For the nations, obtain legislation inspired by the gospel, the spirit of Christian charity, a way of governing in accord with justice and peace. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us.